In a culture where logic and reason have been discarded, the truth of Holy Mother Church is still very much alive. Fill your soul with the truth of the Holy Catholic faith. Get your premium account at churchmilitant.tv today and discover the truth. Hello, I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Here are latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. The White House has announced today that Obama will be meeting with the Holy Father this year. A statement released by officials says that, quote, the president looks forward to discussing with Pope Francis their shared commitment to fighting poverty and growing inequality, end quote. Their meeting will take place March 27th as part of Obama's European trip. A pro-abortion, pro-homosexual rabbi has now received two honorary degrees from two different Catholic universities. The rabbi received the first from the Pontifical Catholic University in Argentina in October of 2012, and the second one from Sacred Heart University in Connecticut late last year. The rabbi clearly lays out his views on abortion and same-sex so-called marriage in a book he co-wrote with the then Cardinal Bergoglio called On Heaven and Earth. Today, as part of a court settlement, the Archdiocese of Chicago is releasing documents revealing efforts to conceal sexual abuse by repeat abusers, also the promoting and moving of priests with accusations against them, and the investigation of victims who made allegations. The Archdiocese of Chicago is disclosing 6,000 pages of documents on the sexual abuses of children by 30 different priests that occurred before 1996. Since 2002, the nation's third largest archdiocese has put new measures in place that require allegations of sexual misconduct to be reported immediately to civil authorities. And no priest with even one substantiated allegation of sexual abuse of a minor can serve in public ministry. The former head of the Pontifical Swiss Guard, the group charged with protecting the Pope, has confirmed that a homosexual lobby exists within the Vatican. Reports from an unidentified member of the Swiss Guard claim that numerous officials of the Roman Curia had made sexual advances towards him. Last year, our Holy Father also admitted a homosexual lobby exists within the Roman Curia during a meeting with Latin American religious leaders. Cardinal O'Malley, Archbishop of Boston, was pictured being anointed recently by a United Methodist pastor. During an ecumenical service at Sadbury United Methodist Church, Ann Robertson dipped her finger in a bowl of so-called consecrated water and traced the sign of the cross onto the cardinal's forehead. The archdiocese, which declined to make O'Malley available for an interview, and said this United Methodist ritual did not violate Catholic teaching. A quick correction, in yesterday's story on Medjugorje, we reported that official pilgrimages are now prohibited, when in fact they have been prohibited for many years. I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael talks about the peace amidst the storm. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends. And may God bless you. Contraception. 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 Do you use it? Do you use it? How pro-life are you? Do you use it? How pro-life are you? are you condoms the pill the patch the ring have you used them how pro-life are you the shot iud diaphragm vasectomy how pro-life are you emergency contraception emergency contraception emergency contraception do you use it the morning after pill plan b one step are you 486 have you used them how pro-life are you how pro-life are you in 1930 in 1930 1930 in 1930, at the Lambeth Conference, after 20 years of intense pressure from international movers and shakers like the Rockefellers, the Church of England, the Anglicans, reversed nearly 2,000 years of Christian teaching on marriage and family and approved contraception. And approved contraception. Approved contraception. And approved contraception. The results. The results. The results. The results. The results are destroyed families, destroyed marriages, adultery, the objectification of women, pornography addiction, and most importantly of all, abortions by the tens of millions. Tens of millions of babies murdered in the womb. Tens of millions of babies murdered in the womb. Murdered. 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 Millions of children murdered in the womb. All the result of contraception. All the results of contraception. All the result of contraception. How pro-life are you? How pro-life are you? How pro-life are you? How many souls? How many souls? How many souls? How many souls have been damned for all eternity because of contraception? 
every Planned Parenthood, every drop of blood at the abortion chambers, every pro-choice sign, every March for Life, all of it. All of it. All of it. All of it. All of it can trace its roots to the diabolical evil of contraception. Stop this. Stop this. Immediately. Immediately. Stop this. We must stop this. We must stop this. We must stop this. Immediately. Immediately. Immediately following the 1930 Lambeth Conference, which allowed contraception, Pope Pius XI responded with his encyclical Costi Canubi, restating the Catholic Church's long-standing teaching on the sanctity of the Marriage Act and condemning contraception. Nearly 40 years later, in 1968, Pope Paul VI again condemned contraception in his encyclical Humanae Vitae. Are you pro-birth or are you pro-life? Pro-birth, pro-life, there is a difference. There is a difference. There is a difference. There's a difference. There is a difference. How pro-life are you? How pro-life are you? 90%. 90%. 90%. 90% of all Christians have used a form of contraception. How pro-life are we? How pro-life are we? How pro-life are we? How pro-life are we? I thought. I thought. I thought. I thought Christians were pro-life. How pro-life are are you? How pro-life are you? How pro-life are you? A 2003 Guttmacher Institute study revealed that an increase in contraceptive use had direct correlation to the increase in the number of abortions. They studied multiple countries, including the United States, Denmark, Singapore, and South Korea. Is abortion just the backup plan when contraception fails? It's a fair question. It's a fair question. It's a fair question. It's a fair question. How pro-life are you? How pro-life are you? How pro-life are you? How pro-life are you? It's no surprise that the evil of contraception has poisoned nearly all of Christianity. The protection of the Holy Spirit was granted to only one church. One church. One church. One church. The only church Jesus Christ built. The church built upon the rock of St. Peter, the Holy Catholic Church. If you stand against abortion, you must. You must. You must. You must stand against contraception. The Holy Catholic Church was in the beginning, is now, and shall ever be pro-life. Are you?